Hey everybody, happy Sunday evening. What time is it? It's 6.15. Uh, what's everybody having for dinner tonight? I love when I ask this question because I get crickets, so it always makes me wonder, are you eating? Um, anyway, I just thought I would pop on. I have to tell you that this video has taken several twists and turns because like I said on my last video, I want to do some tutorials on some products that are kind of hard to use or not hard to use but they have a higher user error let's put it that way they're very easy once you actually start using them um, so uh, the last video I showed you how to use the um, the uh, uh, micro <laughs> see pampered not perfect <laughs> the microplane course grader and how to open it um, and then I had planned on using this the pineapple wedger but I have to tell you hey Kathy um, there are no good pineapples to be found I think I hit it at the wrong time of, of year so I will do this one again later I believe I already actually did that hey Tammy uh, I think I already showed how to use the the pineapple wedger but Needless to say, I think it always can be shown again. So anyway, um, then I thought, okay, well, I'll just show my, um, my dinner. So I was going to um, make some carnitas tacos tonight, and yum, I got everything set up, and then I realized I had forgotten cilantro and tomatoes at the store. Hey Denise. So uh, yeah, hmm, that wasn't going to work and I didn't really feel like going back. So we're going to twist it up again. Does anyone ever have that happen? Give me a like if you ever have uh, dinner kind of go south on you and then you have to turn it around. Um, so hey, thanks for, for joining me, all of you. So make sure that you share this video because I'm going to give you um, a sneak peek at something. It's not a sneak peek. It's been around, but it's going to be an awesome deal this month. So in here, I decided, let me tip you down just a little bit. This, oh, there's a like. This is our Rock Rock four quart Dutch oven, my favorite, and the slow cooker stand. So this has been set on high for about four hours. I put it in about 215, so four hours. And I added some of our carnitas seasoning. Super easy. Hey, Ember, good to see you. Um, so our carnita seasoning, it's, it's really easy, guys. Carnita seasoning and some water. And then I twisted it. So I don't know if my friend Amy is going to watch this, but we had some amazing carnitas at her house. And I said, oh my gosh, what did you do? And sh the one thing that she added that I've never tried, she added a little bit of um, chicken bouillon, which I didn't have, but because I always use better than bouillon. If you guys have never tried that, go out and get some better than bouillon. You'll love it. Um, so I put that in there. So We'll see. Uh, and like I said, it's been going for about four hours. I did a, a pork loin this time instead of a pork shoulder just because A, the, the pork shoulder that they had at the store was way too much. I didn't need that much. Um, and B, I wanted to see if I could do it a little bit healthier. So that's what's in here right now. Like I said, I was gonna make carnitas. That's not happening tonight. Um, so what I decided to change up a little bit. Oh, okay, so let me tell you about this before I forget. So this Rock Rock, for those of you who are not familiar, this Rock Rock can go on my stove. Oh, look, that's not supposed to be there. Yes. Keeping it real, y'all. Keeping it real. Um, so it can go on the stove, and this will go on any stove except for induction. And if you don't know what induction is, you don't have it, so you're good. Um, so any stove, it'll go in the oven, it will go under the broiler. I feel like I should show my face a little bit. Um, it will go under the broiler in the microwave, and yes, it fits in this microwave, I use it all the time. It'll go on your grill, and it's dishwasher safe, which I love. Oh, 
Okay, so stoneware 2.0. It's stoneware on the inside, and then the way that we make it, it can withstand 752, yes, we have to add that, two degrees of heat. Um, so that means you could take this camping with you if you want to. I have customers who primarily use this on their grill, and they love it. So um, now, this last year, we came out with this slow cooker stand, and I feel like I am the person to talk about the slow cooker because I had a crock pot we got when we got married, and I ended up giving it away because every time I would make something, it always ended up overdone. Um, as a teacher, I leave anywhere now about seven o'clock because I've got the kids but I used to leave earlier than that and then I sometimes wouldn't get home until six or seven o'clock at night and so by that time everything was pretty overdone but in this I haven't had any issues yet so I'm pretty excited about that and I love that I can do those slow cooker meals um, and let it go all day the house smells amazing when I come home it smells great right now I wish I had smell a vision for you um, and it's just super easy I can do so many different things I can make meals in it I can keep things warm I do a chocolate fondue in this um, I have tons of different recipes you can check out my website which I'll post below if you're on Facebook live um, and so that's what I've got going on here. Now normally this set that you see here with the rock rock and the slow cooker stand, that when you buy it together as a set, the stand is half off automatically. Um, and so it makes it $169, but this month in October, oh my goodness, you guys, you can get this for $68, actually a little less, um, because it in October, our hosts can choose anything in the catalog they want at 60% off. So sets, knife block sets, those are 60% off. If you want just the rock rock, 60% off. If you want stoneware, 60% off. Cookware, 60% off. You get to choose. You get one set or piece at 60% off. And I do have like two dates left. So if you are interested, let me know. I can also do virtual parties for you too. Okay, so this is what I'm going to add to this. I'm just going to tip this down again. Um, so we sometimes go out for barbecue, and there's this really unhealthy um, thing that may sound gross to you all, but it's so good. And it's like a Frito pie, and it goes on, uh, it goes over Fritos, and then you've got your beans. Like I said, not the healthiest, but really good, very comforting. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to recreate tonight so can you guys see all that steam i'm gonna oh you can see perfect so i'm just gonna turn this down to low at this point um max and zach are not at home from golfing that is the sunday evening thing to do i'm not even gonna measure mm -mm. i'm just gonna pour this over so this was carnita seasoning For those of you who are joining me i was going to do carnitas but then I realized I didn't have cilantro. Hey, Carrie. I didn't have cilantro and I didn't have tomatoes. And so I was being lazy. I just didn't feel like going back to the store. Um, and I don't know if anybody ever has that happen. I'm just grabbing one other thing. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to throw something together. And then in my little micro cooker, I've got some barbecue baked beans. Hey, Tammy. Um, so... All I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you guys this. Look at these. These are our salad choppers. If you've never seen these before, can you guys see this? It is just shredding up so easily. Ha! Ah, I love it. Every time I do this, I get excited. Um, so super, super easy. These have a lifetime guarantee. They're called the salad choppers, but I haven't used them for salad most of their life. I did start using them for salad last year when I started doing make and take salad classes. Um, but this is just shredding up my meat. I almost don't even need these to be honest with you because this is so tender. Um, but I'm just going to let this sit for just a little bit longer because I think the boys might be back almost. Um, so then this, these just go into the top rack of my dishwasher. Hey, Patty. Oh my goodness. It's so nice to talk to you. Patty's a friend that I met um, at our home office 
when I got to go for a training. So that's exciting. So those of you just joining me, this is my dinner with a twist because I was supposed to be making carnitas. Um, and oh, Denise, you're going to love this. This was supposed to be carnitas. But um, yeah, I forgot a few ingredients. So we're gonna change it up. I'm gonna try <laughs> making sort of a Frito pie. So we're gonna put Fritos down and then this and some beans and I'll figure out some vegetables maybe. Or maybe I'll just say that the beans are vegetables tonight. Anyone go there? <laughs> Give me a like if you ever say beans are vegetables. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Um, anyway, we'll see. But that's what I wanted to show you. So this Rock Rock set again in October for my October hosts. You guys can get this entire set instead of $169 for under $68. I have a couple dates left. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. Um, and then, and I'm bringing lava cake to your house too. So that would be that's always amazing oh you hear someone in the background because he's already trying to open the fritos he came back from golf um but then you can also get this set as a consultant for free if you join my team and then of course you can always just buy it outright so i'm going to put that website down below it's www.pamperedchef.biz forward slash chrissy c-h-r-i-s-s-i-e cook Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday evening and I will talk to you soon.